Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael Burhan here for a video. I'm doing this for my Vlog Genius channel. And as you can tell, I've been uploading content on that channel and also doing my normal Nerd Genius stuff as well at the same time. And the reason why um, I'm doing these videos is I find like the Vlog Genius channel, I can just sit down and just do a random video talking and discussing certain topics. And you know, why not? It worked for Casey Neistat, why not me? So it also gives me a chance to kind of talk to you guys about general stuff you know it I like to talk so it, it's allowing me to talk and if you're wondering what this thing on the side is this is my newer uh, microphone it's kind of a microphone that's powered by USB phantom power but also works inside the mic jack so I can use for like Q&A videos I can use for loads of other stuff um, and I've also got some like little light here to um, light up my face because my face is beautiful but yeah give you a bit more quality even though I'm shooting this from my iPhone right now <laughs> so give you a little bit more to kind of play around with um, so tomorrow is a general election you know um, a general election for us in the United Kingdom it's on the 8th of June and we get to vote for who we want to vote for now I've been very political as of late in a couple of my last videos and the reason being is I'm very much a idealist as I've stated before an idealist who believes in people, I believe in you, I believe in your friends, I believe in uh, my kids, I believe in everyone. You know, even if you are a complete and utter jackass, I still believe you can do good. And yes, life is crap. Yes, it's miserable. And yes, we're all going through some sort of crap in our lives. And I understand that. So what I'm basically doing, for anyone who listens, is I'm going to basically say to you is, if you don't vote then you will single-handedly be responsible for the whoever goes into power. And it I know it's kind of a nasty thing to say, and people are just like, well, if I don't vote, I don't have to vote. It's my choice. Yes, it is your choice, and I agree with you. It's your choice not to vote if you want to vote or you don't want to vote. But at the same time, you will be partly responsible because you know a boatload of idiots are going to vote for the Conservatives. And yes, I'm going to use the term idiots, um, even though I respect your vote, I respect what you do, but most of these people are going to be misinformed. There are going to be a few people who sit there and say, no, but I adhere to what they what they like. They represent me. That's fine. But they represent the 1%. They represent the rich. They represent most of these big companies who are not basically paying any tax. They represent the people who are losing out to like sheiks from Saudi Arabia who are purchasing homes here and don't use them while the rest of us are basically sitting here suffering. If you want to change, if you want a true austerity, so to speak, and you want someone to kind of, oh, got an itch there. If you want someone to kind of work with you and build on a, a different way of thinking, then it would probably be best to vote Labour, Jeremy Corbyn. He's, he's a socialist to the nth degree. He's protested, he stood up for people, he is a people person. Um, but at the same time, He's also someone who understands what's been going on. The constant cuts, the fact that our social services system is terrible, the fact that our police are basically at the point, at the brink of losing everything, that they, you know, that we're suffering so much as um, like, a, like a community in a sense, as a society. And a lot of people are going to sit there and say to you, we need to close the borders. This is what we need to do, you know. This general election is going to make sure that we close the borders and screw the EU and their Bill of Human Rights Act, of course, and their, their Human Rights Act. The funny thing about it is we built the Human Rights Act. We care for people. This is who we are, you know. Um, if you basically look at everything that was done prior, if you did your research, you will know that we were the ones, that the, the United Kingdom, that are ancestors so to speak because i'm a british person doesn't matter what the color my skin is our ancestors built this and built this to give people a chance to find their feet and yes we see the horror stories in the sun newspaper and all the other media malarkey saying that you know jeremy corbyn's this jeremy corbyn's that and people don't deserve homes and people don't deserve this and people are coming into the country invading our country taking over using terrorism and islam this and islam that and I understand that. I totally understand where everyone is coming from in terms of their fears. But without knowledge, those fears are irrelevant. Because you're going to believe what everyone else is going to tell you. You're going to believe what the next guy down the road is going to tell you. Because if that's where you get your news and media source, then, you know, 
what can I say? I can't, I can't be mad at you for doing that, and you can't be mad at me for my opinions, or by the fact that I think a lot of people are completely ignorant and stupid. It's kind of like the Brexit vote when the BBC went up to people and said, "Excuse me, sir, can you tell us exactly where you, you know, why you voted for Brexit?" And people just went, uh... "This was the look on their face, by the way. They're like." the constipation look it's new it's innovative it just makes you look like you're sitting on the toilet for way too long and i get that <laughs> i totally and utterly get that. but in all seriousness you can't blame ignorance for having another freaking like what eight years of the tories or eight years of whoever else is going to ruin the country maybe the Tories have had their turn they had the coalition government They've had the freaking, like, Tory-led government. And you saw how well that worked out. Schools are suffering. Police are suffering. Public sector in general is suffering. Jobs are being cut by the barrelful. And these guys are subsidising their own food, their own incomes, looking at their own pay rises. And you're sitting there going, well, that's justified because they work really hard. People in government are the only ones that are allowed, how, like, subsidised housing and pensions. That's not right. <laughs> if you want me to do a breakdown video, I can sit down and go through a breakdown video and give you every bit of research. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link to a tool below this video. It's called Google. Google what you need. Look at the site manifestos for the Conservative Party. Look at the site manifestos for the Labour Party. Look at the Lib Dems. If you're going to vote green, you vote green. It's up to you. But I'm voting Labour, and it's not because Labour is the best choice, because I don't believe they are the best choice. Labour isn't the best choice right now. The Lib Dems are. But the Lib Dems lied to me last time. So I'm not voting them again. So Labour is the logical choice. If you want a government that is going to try, at least try and fix all the problems that you have in your life, they will do it. Labour is your best bet. And at least we won't have a prime minister who's going to drag us into a war that's going to cost us a hell of a lot of money and leave us with a remnants of a country that still is broken and needs fixing. You're not going to have a government that's basically going to sell weapons to the Saudis for 3.5 billion and who are basically part of the reason why we have these idiots going around shooting guns and killing people. We're going to have someone who's logical in a sense that he's not going to freaking look at dropping bombs on families and children. Do you know why we've got so many refugees coming across the borders? That's because they've lost their homes. They want anything better than what they currently have. And that's our fault. That's our government's fault. That's every person who's made a stupid decision to go to war and kill people and look at people and say, that's a casualty. And I'm not blaming the men and women who fight in these wars because they are doing it because they are told to do it. And because they try to do everything they can to make sure that casualties are minimum. Minimal. But we need to make sure that whatever happens, that we vote. You want better infrastructure? Vote. You want a better system that caters towards you and your family, vote. If you don't want the 1% taking every single bit of tax breaks and not giving back to our country, vote. The power is in your hands. I'm just some 35-year-old man right now who's basically ranting on raving and talking a load of bull crap. But at least I'm trying to get you out there off your ass. Yes, you. To vote. And don't throw your vote away. Use this. Ten minutes of research could literally make or break your decision. And it doesn't have to be long-winded and withdrawn. And I know you're busy. I know you've been working all day. I know that you've been rushing around trying to make sure that you have that little bit extra so you can go to the cinema on Friday or go out to somewhere nice to eat so that you can at least enjoy the finer things in life. But in the end, your country needs you. Just like it needs me. I may not be a fan of the UK. <laughs> I may not be a fan of our government, our current regime. 
but I will fight for what I believe in. And I believe that we as a people, we as a society, if we grow in numbers, if we get off our asses and show them what we can do, I guarantee we will have a great, great government in place. And if they fuck up, you can just sit there and say to me, Ah, Mike, I was right, you were wrong. You're an unknowingly unknowledgeable little prick. And I'm fine with that. Totally fine with that. So make sure you do your job. Get out there. I'm going to be out at the voting booths tomorrow. I've got my card. I had to get a special one done because I have no resident home address. So I have my card here. And I'm going to vote tomorrow. And I hope that I will see you there. I hope I'll see you on the news, sitting there, going out there and casting your vote. Because your vote matters. And it's only going to take a few minutes for you to vote. Let's go and kick some ass tomorrow. And I promise you, if you do that, you will not hear another one of these political videos from me for a while. Unless someone fucks up and I'm going to call out their bullshit. But you know how it goes. So, this is Michael Burhan saying to each and every one of you to go out there, get to the polls... And vote for who you want in our 2017 general election. If you want Brexit, if you don't want Brexit, if you just want this to stop, vote. <laughs> I shall see you tomorrow with another video, guys. And check out my video, my other channel, Nerd Genius, uh, youtube.com forward slash the Nerd Genius. I've got game trailers, I've got videos, I've got loads of different content. I'm just finishing up my final two videos for the MCM London Comic Con. Hopefully you'll check that out as well, and I shall see you soon. Bye for now.